Hi, uh, this is Charlie Crocker again from San Francisco. Welcome to another AutoCAD FaceCast. We're really happy to be here in the new year. 2013 looks to be a really good year. Uh, to kick it off, I uh, brought with me uh, Ryan Arnadin. He's a user experience um, uh, a product designer for the simulation um, team, the simulation product team, and there's a great new product on labs uh, that you can play with called product, Project Falcon, and Ryan's here to tell us a little bit about that. So what actually is uh, Project Falcon? Yeah, thanks Charlie. Project Falcon is a near real-time uh, airflow simulation tool. So this is a tool that's going to offer informed design insight. It's not designed to be the ultimate analyst tool, but uh, it's really designed to help guide and inform design decisions. So um, the reason you're here is because it works, I think, in AutoCAD, right? It does. What other platforms or how else can you use this tool? Yeah, so we have standalone versions for both Windows and OS X, and then we have the embedded plugins for AutoCAD, Revit, and Inventor. So the standalone ones work on Mac and on Windows. That's right. And then um, we'll, we'll see a little bit later today what the embedded one looks like. Right. And that, that same embedded uh, technology works in Revit as well as Inventor. Yes. Okay, yes. that's cool. Um, so who's, who uses Project Falcon? Who do you who use it designed for? What kind of person or what kind of is, is going to use it? Yeah, so uh, we intend this tool to be used by any, any designers and engineers out there who are designing products and buildings that affect or are affected by airflow. And we're really looking to you all to uh, let us know what applications you're interested in and, and what features you need out of this product. Right now, uh, it's exclusively external flow, um, but that, that opens up a, a lot of applications still. Okay, so we'll have a chance to look at, at what he means by external flow and, and see how it works uh, in a project. But fundamentally, this is a labs-based project and it's being put out here because we need your feedback. So they're going to get feedback from the Revit folks, they're going to get feedback from the Inventor folks. We want to make sure that you, the AutoCAD user, also has an opportunity to provide a lot of feedback here as well. So right. um, definitely take the opportunity to um, download this and to, um, to provide some feedback. Um, so can you give me a couple examples of you know, uh, workflows or, uh, or, or types of solutions that, that this would provide? Yeah, there, there's a lot of things you can do with this tool. Even though it is the first release, there's a lot of functionality there. So you can use this tool to visualize flow around buildings, around uh, features of buildings such as solar panels, uh, some applications we've talked to customers that they're already using this for, flow studies for facade planning, um, we've seen people using it for the channeling effect in urban environments. So like when you say that, like urban environments like the canyons in a, in a major downtown, you can exactly, see the airflow yeah, if you're going to be removing buildings or putting in new okay. buildings, how is that going to affect uh, what's already there and the flow patterns through the city, pedestrian comfort, things like that. Um, some people have gotten into positioning and configuration of intakes and exhaust on buildings. So how to change this to the building's uh, external features. Right, so you don't want the exhaust to blow right things. into the predominant wind direction and exactly. up in your up in Exactly, the air, so you, uh, yeah, you can look at different configurations okay. there. Okay, well that's great. So um, we have an opportunity now to actually walk through it. Um, uh, Ryan has it up here uh, in, in AutoCAD, the embedded version. So let's take an opportunity and maybe you can show us how this thing works. Okay, so we'll hop into AutoCAD here. I'm going to start off with uh, this car example. So what we're going to look at here is just how we can visualize flow around an object in AutoCAD and uh, the, the effect on the, the 3D solids as well. So enabling Falcon is as simple as going to the Plugins tab and hitting the Falcon button. It'll take a couple seconds to fire up here, but uh, you'll see as soon as we get into Falcon, it's just going to be a virtual wind tunnel actually embedded in the AutoCAD interface. Cool. So here we are. Zoom so in. now you've also got a new um, tab called Flow Simulation and a, and a bunch of buttons. Exactly, yeah. So Falcon appears as its own tab in the AutoCAD ribbon. So it's a single tab, uh, pretty easy to use, general left to right workflow here. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, Falcon's tried to intelligently size my wind tunnel for me, but you can see I've got flow actually going under the car. So I'm going to come in here and just make a couple tweaks real quick. We're going to resize that flow domain, bring it up to ground level. Uh -huh. 
And then it, if you look in the lower corner of the screen, the lower right hand corner, you can see the flow is going at 10 meters per second. It's a little slow for a car, so I'm going to increase the flow speed, get up to maybe about 80 miles an hour here. So, so little, that was an in canvas kind of widget that allows right, you yeah, to... Right, yeah, so all these controls to, are just going to pop up right in the canvas there. That's so, great. Uh, right, right where your mouse is makes it easy to use um, and easy to get so to. So this is more realistic now. You've actually sped it up. Right, yeah, so this is more like a highway speed. Right. You know, we've got a, a sporty car here, so we're probably going to be going 55. We'll, we'll put it up to 80. Um, and so then I'm just going to come in here and explore some different flow patterns by enabling uh, my flow lines. And I'm going to increase the count so we can see that a little better. Oh, that's cool. And we can begin to see the, the wakes behind the car, the exact flow patterns and the streamlines over the car. Um, and I think this is a real compelling image, so I'm going to go ahead and save that out. And just like that, I've saved an image uh, capture of this flow pattern. I could also save a video if I wanted, but... So that image then could be emailed to other stakeholders who are interested right, in yeah, understanding you could email, the flow. email that to a colleague, a manager, uh, an engineer who's working on the project, um, anything like that. That's great. So right now we've so been can running... You, can you rotate a little bit just to kind of show the yeah. uh, 3D aspect of the tunnel? Because this is definitely a... It's a yeah. yeah, so that's what I want to jump into now. For, up until now we've just been running a 2D simulation, so just basically a slice through the domain. We're going to hop into 3D though. And it'll keep that slice right through the middle of the, the domain, but this is going to open up some other options. So from here, let's go back to a, a simpler view. From here, I can enable a drag plot. So I can actually see what the coefficient of drag and the drag force on my car are. In addition to that, I can turn on surface pressures and see what the pressure distribution is on the car. So if I look face on, where are those areas of high pressure? Uh, do we have any concerns on this front grille or on the mirrors? I mean, I can really get in there and, and start to explore those. That's great. And this is all real time. I mean, this is in AutoCAD, so it runs really effectively. And you don't, uh, so this is, this is not going out to the cloud. This is literally right. simulation this is, this on is the desktop. This is all running near That's real great. time okay. on your machine. So let, do you have any other examples? I do. So uh, give me a second. I'll load one here. So what we're going to look at here is a hotel. Mm -hmm. So we can actually explore the airflow around the hotel and one of the real cool things about Project Falcon is that it's kind of an always-on simulation tool so I can hop in there and I can start designing, I can add features, remove features while the wind tunnel is running and see that airflow update in near real time. So let's take a look at that. Again, I'll just go to the plugins tab, still have my car open, stop that. And I'm going to enable Falcon. So again, it's going to start off in 2D. And we'll position that so we can see it a little better. Um, we've got it at 10 meters per second, so I'm going to increase that just a little bit here. Get some wind speed going. And not only can I view the velocity profiles on this plane, I can also change that to pressure. So I can see if there's a low pressure zone uh, behind this hotel, see exactly what the flow is doing, and then come in here, there's actually a helicopter pad uh, up here on the top of the hotel. So I'm going to switch into 3D so that we can see what the flow is around that helicopter pad. And maybe it's not going to let me do that right now. So let's start designing. Let's, let's okay. come in here and make a change. So, uh, let's say maybe uh, another company's bought some land right beside my hotel. This hotel is actually about a, a thousand feet offshore. They built a little island. So we have to build another island, island to make it on happen. the island. So okay. yeah, let's say we're we're going to put in another island and, and build another hotel next door. So I'm just going to start off with a real simple shape just to get an idea of what effect this may have. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here and put that hotel right right in the wind path, and we can almost immediately see the influence on the flow patterns here. And again, these are, these are all uh, in canvas controls, so you come in here and you can drag this plane just by grabbing this control. And you can slide that over and, and reposition the plane. I'm 
not sure why these are disabled. Uh, I wanted to go in and, and show you actually when we when we add this additional building here, it's going to create a downdraft right on the, the oh, helipad. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and, and that's something we'd want to avoid because it's going to bring the helicopter down into the pad when it's trying to land. But you can go in here and you can continue designing. You can add more shapes, and the wind tunnel is just going to continue to update and, and to show you show you how that flow pattern uh, changes with with additional. Uh, can, can you move the the flow pattern over? I can, yeah, it wasn't let me grab it a second ago. You would just grab this uh, little blue ball, there we go. And then that'll that'll change the Okay, so now we can actually see the right the deflection off that first building. Right, you can change the wind direction by grabbing uh, the compass up here, or if you go to the flow simulation tab, you can come in there and we can change the angle that the wind's coming in at. So we can oh, test okay. different winds, different times of the year. Uh, if the prevailing, prevailing winds are shifting, uh, we can go in there and just either grab this control or come up to the, the ribbon and control. What I like about this is that you're actually doing it in real time, right? It's not affecting how quickly you, you can you know, do additional designs. So right. we could you know, rotate, uh, check you know, prevailing winds off 10 degrees. Um, that's right, right, yeah, it really just is, is as simple as going in there and making the change and you'll see the results update. So the examples again that you talked about that people would be using this for, there's uh, like f facades or exhaust intake. Um, you can imagine this if you were in New York City and you all of a sudden took a building out and you wanted to see the flow um, by adding a different building into that same region. Right, exactly. Yeah, I, I want to be clear, it is external flow only. So for exhaust and intakes, uh, you can see the external flow patterns and how those may affect the exhaust and the intakes. But, but you're not going to have interaction you're between... You're not going to be modeling the, right. the intake okay. itself or the okay. exhaust itself. Um, and are you looking at doing uh, other types of flow in the future? Yeah, that's one reason why we're getting this thing out here so early and we're getting it up on lab so that we can hear back uh, from AutoCAD users, Inventor users, Revit users. Uh, what, what do you want to use this for? What are, what are some good applications? Um, what, are, what are some features that you'd like to see that would help you create informed designs. So this is a really good opportunity for uh, you, the AutoCAD user, to uh, affect change in this product. And right now it's free on labs. It's easily downloadable. It installs right into 2013, right? right. AutoCAD 2013. Right. Um, so you can like, immediately go up and do that. Can you show us where on the lab site uh, this actually is? Yeah, absolutely. So, like Charlie mentioned, this is totally free on Labs. It's up there till so la labs.autodesk.com. It's Very up there easy. till August 30th uh, of this year. Until that time, we're just collecting feedback. the The trial may be extended. Uh, we may add some new features. Up to you guys. Up to the feedback that we receive. So, you'll navigate to labs.autodesk.com. You'll come up here to the tech previews, and you'll go down to Project Falcon. And from here, you, you've really got access to, to everything Project Falcon that you need. You can come over here in the, the right-hand panel. You can download it. Uh, that link will link you to the inventor. AutoCAD so if you're not using, versions. let's say, the, the latest version of AutoCAD 2013, you could still download the standalone version right. and play around with it. Exactly. Uh, and provide and, feedback And also. like I said, that works on both Windows and Mac. Oh, that's so, great. So yeah, everybody can use this tool. And then I, I've mentioned several times that we're, we're trying to get feedback. So come on here, shoot us an email, hop onto the forums, uh, find us on our on, on social networks here. And you can also access this stuff from within AutoCAD itself. So within Project Falcon, there's actually a link directly to those forums. So we're, we're trying to make it easy for you. You don't have to remember a URL. And that's also in the standalone version as well, the, the links? Right. There's okay, what, click that. on that link. Where does it take you? Uh, it's going to open up in a, a different browser here, but it would just take us to the same forums oh, that okay. you get to here. Got it. And scroll, okay, oh, so this is it. Awesome. Yeah, so, so there's already people you can see on here having conversations and, and suggesting new features. Uh, so we need to get AutoCAD about. ideas in here. Um, so please, yeah, uh, we take need a some look representation. So scroll, scroll down also. Um, there's also videos. Um, right, yeah, so th these are real cool videos. They can get your. Uh, mind thinking about what you may use this for. There's several different applications in here. Um, so, 
encourage you to watch those too. They're, they're real cool. Give you an idea of what kind of results you can get out of this tool too. Yeah, and, and if you've got any ideas even right now, I mean, uh, type them into Facebook, you know, put them into the um, you know, comment section on this, on this Facecast. We'd really love to hear, you know, in the work that you're doing, is it small residential, is it interiors, is it condos, is it, you know, uh, building, uh, you know, uh, cars or something, uh, any of those, how would you use something like this? When, when would it make sense in your, in your design process? Do you do it at the beginning, while you're designing? These are all questions that I think would be really great to, to hear from you guys so that we have an opportunity to uh, affect actual change and, and he's ready for it for sure. Right, yeah, we're, we're definitely listening so we want to hear from you. So, um, two things, two calls to action. One, scroll up here, come to the labs.autodesk.com and, and download this either for your Mac, for your uh, PC, for Revit, for, Wind, uh, for Inventor or for AutoCAD and provide feedback on that. Give us a lot of feedback around the workflows you're interested in, um, where you think this can fit, and specifically features or things we could do to tune this, this up. Um, the feedback is key right now, and that's why we're putting something on lab, so that later in the year, we have the opportunity to really deliver something around this of value to you that works in the products. So, is there anything else that you want to say? I think that covers it. Thanks All right. That. All right, well, thanks for uh, the first SpaceCast of 2013. We look forward to many more this year. Have a great year. Thanks, everyone.